You're now watching The Wash Daily. Today in news, United States Attorney General Merrick Garland has come and said they're not going to be wasting federal dollars on the enforcement of cannabis operations growing in states that have legal cannabis growing. So they said that I'm not worried about using the money for that reason. There's too many other things to do. Cannabis really isn't a big deal, he says. We're not going to waste money dealing with that. Also in news, German police don't understand German laws apparently because the EU has now determined that CBD coming from hemp plants or even anything coming from hemp plants derived naturally isn't considered a narcotic anymore under EU law. And so all the nations of the EU have to adhere to these rulings and this, this northern section of Germany's police force doesn't know that. They don't understand that. Unfortunately, they are arresting people for CBD and they put out a warning. If, if you're growing dangerous CBD... If you're making dangerous hemp, we're going to put you in dangerous prison. Also in news, another trademark court case coming out, Mars Brands. It was a Mars, whoever Mars is, Mars Wrigley, I think, is the company. They're the ones behind classic candy bars like M&M's and Mars Bars and Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Well, they're saying that all these companies who are putting out CBD parodies of their products, you know, making, making cannabis varieties of popular candy bars. They're suing them, but they're going to take them to court. They're going to sue them for any any time a company uses a THC enhanced version of a, of a candy bar that Mars Company is involved with. They're going to get sued $2 million they're looking for, plus any money they make from any cannabis sales. This is what happens when companies have uh, trademark disputes, usually how it goes. Uh, it was definitely the case for Gorilla Glue. Those folks who are using that name for their seed, now it's GG4, they couldn't do that. There's many, many other stories of these similar trademark violations in the cannabis market because everybody loves cannabis parodies, and especially those trademark seed lawyers. Thanks for watching The Wash.